I think it was a great learning opportunity because I came together with 29 other teachers and they were from all over the country. And then just going to court itself and, and seeing the justices sit up there, the nine of them, in person, because there's not many photos around, they don't allow it. And just to see them interact with each other, Briar and Thomas, I guess, have been seatmates for a couple decades and they were passing notes back and forth. And they were like the two kids in the back of the room that shouldn't be sitting next to each other and causing a distraction. And it just, it put a human face to each of them. And then of course we had a reception at the court. We get to meet Chief Justice Roberts and, and he supported the program for decades. Street law incorporates a lot of deliberations in their curriculum. And I find them a really good way to get students to sit down and not just talk to each other about what they think of an issue because we often find in St. Paul that our students feel like they're in a bubble. Um, they all have opinions and they all have thoughts, but they feel a lot of times when they sit down and talk to each other, they're talking on the same, on the same side of the issue. And so what a deliberation does is it will cause students to be on the other side. And it's not a debate, so they're not trying to win. And so I think a lot of that in politics and government feels so lost right now that no one is listening to each other, everyone's trying to win. And so a deliberation has students listen to the other side and then the students swap roles. Then you can extend it and you can ask students to come up with, well, what's the solution to this? So if I can bring that reality to the classroom, um, I think my students are better off too.